Hi guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem which was asked in Cognizant interview. The candidate had 2.6 years experience working as a Java developer. And after solving this problem, uh, he was offered 8.7 LPA as an annual CTC. Let me discuss the problem statement which was asked in the interview. The problem was he was asked to write a Java program to divide a string into n equal parts. Okay, let us consider how uh, there is an input and the string is ABCD. He was asked to write a program to divide this string into two parts. Okay, now if I try to divide this string into two parts, the two parts can be AB and CD, which should have equal lengths. Okay, there was another test case where uh, you can see the string has been modified. String is now ABCDE and we have to divide the string into two equal parts. But as we can see, uh, it has five characters. So this string cannot be divided into two equal parts. So he was asked to write a message that this string cannot be divided into two equal parts. That was the problem statement. So now let me start writing the code to implement this. Okay, you can see how I have written a class divide string into n equal parts. Inside that, I have written a main method, which is going to be our starting point for program execution. Now let me declare a variable which will be used to store our string. So a string str equal to abcd. I have declared string. Now what I will do, I will try to find the length of the string. So string len equal to str dot length. Now I got a length. Okay. The next thing what uh, which I'm going to uh, do is I'm going to declare one more variable which will be used to identify or to decide the number of parts for the string that could be an input from the user so let me take it as an input so int n is equal to two okay so i'm going to divide this string into two parts okay what happened str dot length okay this is going to return an integer value integer okay now i have got the input string i got the number of parts into which I need to decide, uh, divide the strings. I will declare an array which will be used to store the string parts. So string array, I will uh, make it as a string parts. And this array will have length as the number of parts. So it should be equal to the size of n. So this array is going to store my number of parts of this string. Okay, let me declare one more variable which will decide the size of the part. So how do you decide the size of the part is I will declare it as a string part. Okay, to decide that size, uh, what I will do, I will divide this length by number of parts. So it will be something like length divided by n. This will give me the size of a part. Okay, and I will declare one more variable uh, which I will use to maintain the indexes of these array string parts because I'm going to store all the parts into this array. Okay, now what I will do, I will first check if that string can be divided into n equal parts or not. So what for that, I will write a code something like if len mod n is equal equal to, if len mod n is not equal to zero, then I can simply say that String cannot be divided into n equal parts because if you see length is 4 and n is 2. So here we can say that length divided by n that means 4 by 2 is equal to 0. That means string can be divided into two parts. But if it is uh, it becomes something like a, b, c, d, e, then 5 divided by 2 won't be uh, giving you a, a reminder as a 0. So we can say that that string cannot be divided into two equal parts. Okay, so here if length mod n is not equal to zero, then I will say that sorry, that string cannot be divided into n equal parts. Okay, so let me write the message. Uh, sorry, sorry, the string cannot be divided divided into equal parts okay or here if you want you can write something like this n equal parts okay 
now i'm done with the check that if the string can be divided or cannot be divided into two parts if the string can be divided into two parts then my else block will start execution okay and here i will write the code to divide that string into n parts for that what i will do i will try to iterate over that string okay so what i will do i will write a for loop for integer i is equal to 0 i should be less than string length and then i is equal to i plus string part why this string part because i need to first identify the part and then increment my counter so that it should come to the next parts okay starting location that's the reason i am incrementing i by string part okay now i have written a for loop to iterate over the string let me take the string part so string part is equal to str dot substring so i will use substring that will give me a substring from my string and here i need to provide two indexes one is going to be my starting index and the next is going to be my end index okay so i will mention this end index as i plus string part because this string part is going to point to the last character of my string part after this what i will do i will simply store this part into this array so string parts of temp that is zero is equal to part so i have stored this part into the string parts array and i will simply increment my counter so that it will move to the next index to store the next part now i am done with the writing code to take the parts now what i will do i will simply iterate over this array and will all i will try to print all the parts from this string okay so i will write a for loop to iterate over this array so string integer i is equal to 0 i should be less than string parts dot length and i plus plus and i will try to print the parts okay so i will write a system dot out dot print statement and this will print the part of my string string parts of i okay so here simply i will write this code and now uh, let me execute the program i'm done with the writing code so here i'm first checking whether string can be divided into equal parts or not if it is not divided into equal parts then i'm writing a message that sorry the string cannot be divided into n equal parts if i am able to divide that string into equal parts then my this else block will be executed and this will uh, divide the string into n equal parts that will be stored into the string parts and i'm going to print those parts here okay so here simply i will uh, save this program and uh, right click run as java application so you can see here I have string a b c d and i have been asked to divide that string into two equal parts so this uh, i'm getting a b and c d as the two equal parts if i modify the string and uh, run the program then i won't be able to divide that string into two equal parts so i will get sorry the string cannot be divided into two equal parts and if uh, you want to skip uh, this loop you can skip this and uh run the program okay so that's it from this video guys thank you bye bye if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you bye bye